Hey guys, Kira Ice, and today I'm going to be talking about what I would want from an Aikatsu Star Season 3. Aikatsu Stars is my first series, and I've been experiencing a lot of nostalgia in the past two weeks, I believe. I've been drawing a lot of it, and I've been browsing the wiki and just looking over all the content that we got from that season. And it's because I really do have a really soft spot for this one. So, two seasons was great. I'm glad it got a full season to end, but I'm here to give you my ideas on what a season 3 would look like if I was the one making it. So first of all, we're going to start with the returning characters and what their arcs would be. Now, I would write out the finale with everyone getting the sun wings because I feel like that would re that really does make it seem very final. And so, this is what the S4 of the previous generation would be up to. Now, Yuma's main arc this season wouldn't really be to be number one because she already is, but there would be a new character called Sumomo who is the Berry Parfait fan from Venus Wave. And Sumomo is a beauty class idol, so she would use Berry Parfait to model. And I feel like a good arc for Yuma would be knowing that since she's the one who made the brand and now that it's popular, people are going to use it differently than she expected. You know, Sumomo being a model would mean that the chords in Berry Parfait might change a little to be more focused on the runway, to look good there. And I feel like it would be a nice arc for her to kind of accept she doesn't have full control of the brand anymore. In case it's not making sense, what I mean is I'd want to see her grapple with the idea that her brand is no longer her and Koharu's little thing and now people are going to change it and possibly think about the fact that she's not going to be in charge of it forever, you know, really understanding. Yeah, you're at the top now, but the same way you climb to the top, other people are going to do that too. Now, as for Akko, I would have Akko paired with Stella because I feel like their arcs are really complementary. I feel like I am going to be tying a lot of the previous characters to the new ones. So Stella is another girl from Venus Wave. These were the girls I used for the next generation. And what I'd love for Akko's arc to be in season 3 is wondering if she's not really a good actor but a good S4 leader because Stella would be really rebellious and kind of delusional about her ability so she would make it very hard for Akko to work with her and eventually Akko would have to set her foot down and realize I'm in charge here and I need you to improve. It would be a narrative where Stella doesn't start with much respect for Akko but eventually she's able to realize that Akko is talented and that Akko also that Akko is someone she should listen to. Also in this timeline Akko had star wings. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna write that into canon you can just imagine Whoever you wish didn't get star wings, didn't get them, and Akko got them instead. Now with Mahiru, I don't really have a narrative arc for her, but I do imagine she'd get along really well with Sumomo. Sumomo, I am going to make a very cold and driven character. She wants to be the best model, and she wants to use Berry Parfait as a brand. She is a lovely type in beauty class, and so she's going to be a character who initially isn't that friendly, her fans don't really get to interact with her as much and that's something Mahiru would help her with. Mahiru would help soften her a little and have her fans and have her come to realize that she needs to be a bit kinder, she needs to be a bit more considerate, a bit more open and they would have kind of a sisterly bond up until the point that at the end of the season when Mahiru loses to Sumomo in the election, she's okay with it because Sumomo has been able to improve so much in one year and she'd actually be really proud of it. She wouldn't feel sad about it. Another returning character would be Haruka Ruka. She didn't get to have any screen time so I guess that we'd just be giving her dance class episodes, you know. I do imagine an episode of hers focusing on an obstacle course which she wins as the most athletic student and this would have her perform her solo at the end. It would be a fun episode to show the girls training, kind of like the TriStar Selection episodes in the original Aikatsu. 
And of course, Haruka Ruka would have her own admin, who I'll introduce when I'm talking about the new characters. Alright, so now that we've looked at the recurring characters and spoken slightly about the new ones, let's get into them proper. Saya is our main character. Saya is the girl who was a huge Yuma fan. She started out with Yuma's hairstyle. And I'm going to have her change her hair because I think that really does thematically tie into her stepping into her own. Um, initially, she would want Berry Parfait, but you already know that goes to Sumomo, so her brand would be Wishing Palace. Now, Wishing Palace is a Cinderella brand that I came up with. It's inspired by Cinderella and the dresses are from different parts in the story. So that would be Saya's main brand and it's what she would wear throughout the season. Saya and Natsuno should be spoken of together because they're rivals and I feel like I'm going to have Sumomo being spoken of here as well so it's gonna feel a bit clustered but I think I can do it justice. So Saya would initially lose to Natsuno because she doesn't have Yume's rainbow power and while Natsuno would be improving, Saya would also be struggling to get close to her because Natsuno would be very focused on her goal, kind of like Sumo, but in a different way. Sumomo is friends with Saya, but Natsuno wouldn't be as friendly. She would be really competitive and desperate to win in song class. And so Natsuna and Saya would end up being friends by the end of the season, but I would have that be a long and slow journey. Now, at some point, I would have Saya surpass Natsuna, so we can get a really nice training arc for Natsuna where she takes a break, kind of like what they did with Laura, except this time Natsuna actually ends up being S4 instead of losing. I'd like for Natsuna to meet Laura a few times. I'd like for them to perform together, and I'd also think it would be really cool if Laura showed up to give her her final PR before the S4 selection. As for Sumomo, you already know her arc is about opening up, especially with the help of Mahiru, and that would basically be what our main three characters would do. Now as for Stella, Stella's arc I've already gone over with Akko's segment, talking about how she would be learning to be a better actress. And I think that from here, the best I can do to cap off this section is to describe the S4 selections for these characters before I move on to the season's goth. So I think it's really important for their S4 episodes to really complete their character arcs and so in the S4 selection for acting class, Stella wouldn't be satisfied with her PR and insist on trying to improve it last minute. Now, Kirara would be involved here, and she would tell her that there's no point because the S4 selection is on that day. Stella would keep insisting that she can improve it, and that she's going to do a good job. So, of course, this would kind of relate back to Stella being really unsure of her actual potential. She thinks she can do a lot more than she can. And Akko would find out about her trying to do this, and advise her against it, but... Stella would initially argue with her, and the two of them would have a pretty heated argument that episode. But as she sits in the dressing room, as Akko walks out frustrated, she'd take a look at it and realize that chances are she couldn't improve it even if she wanted to, and there's no way she'll do that on time. While it doesn't really tie into acting, I do feel like it would be important to have a character like her kind of give up a little bit and to understand that she can't be as good as she wants to be now and she needs to accept that she's not as great as she thinks she is so that's what her episode would be about. The beauty class S4 selection would be pretty boring in my opinion well it would be fun but I've already described it I already I've already described it Mahiru is happy she's fine with losing and she's my favorite stars idol but that's kind of why I feel comfortable passing the torch to another beauty class idol because I feel like Sumomo would be my favorite character in this season apart from the OC I made. So that would be the S4 beauty class selection. Now song class would be last as it is the one with the main character and the tension would be pretty high. Laura and Hime would be here and while Saya would be nervous, Natsuno would be pretty calm. 
She would ask to sit with her with Saya and they would kind of help each other prepare. Yume would kind of watch them fondly and think about how they barely got along in the beginning but now they're really, really close. And we'd have Sumomo and Stella come to cheer them on. Before the performances start, Natsuno would admit to Saya that she views her as her best friend, which is something she wouldn't have said the entire season. And with that said, the episode would end as Yume performs, taking her to the top of the song class rankings. Now the next episode would start and the performance would still have people pretty stunned. It would kind of be like Love Me Tear in Aikatsu Friends when the crowd pauses and they're not going to clap yet. And everyone would wonder who could top her score um, as the next name would read out Saya. So Saya would go out and perform. Saya would perform her solo and she would come up second. She would be kind of disappointed but also really happy that she was able to get close to the girl that she admired so much. She'd be really happy that she was able to get close to her even if she didn't surpass her. Now, Yume would congratulate her efforts backstage as Natsuna would calmly walk past them. Natsuna would perform and she would become the new song class S4. So the new S4 would be Sumomo, Natsuna, Stella, and Naoko. Now Naoko is the character I haven't told you about and she's the goth who I created so I do feel as though this will be the shortest section of the video as it's just rounding at the cast. And that's because this is the introduction of the gothic idol Naoko. Now Naoko is a girl I designed and she has a really deep voice and I decided to make her a second year. This is primarily because I felt weird having the entirety of S4 being first years. And the reason we haven't seen her before is because she's very shy, mostly because she has a deep voice and she's not what people expect when they see a dance class student. Now she's in dance class, but she's really chill and she feels very insecure about not being as vibrant as Yuzu or Ruka and her main arc would be kind of stepping into her own light and discovering that she can be whatever idol she wants to be. Her brand would be Gothic Victoria, so she would primarily get her PR, which I've designed from Lily. So Lily would still be in this season, but not as a main character. Now I would tie her arc in with Carol Alice, because Alice in this season would be wearing a spin-off brand of Perfect Queen. She would be wearing a spin-off brand, Little Crown, and that would put a lot of pressure on her. So these two characters would get along really well because one of them has to bear the weight of being the first user of a really popular brand's sister brand and the other would have to bear the pressure of, you know, being yourself and kind of accepting that you might not be what people expect. I'd kind of pair them together because I think they'd sound really good together. I think that their fashion styles would match. I also like the color contrast they have. Apart from that, I also feel like it would be nice to give Alice something to do in this season. But with that said, that is who I would make the S4 for season 3. And in terms of a season 2, I wouldn't really want one. I feel like the events of this story could be wrapped up in a movie. A movie would be much tighter and really let Saya and Natsuna make their way to the top of the idol world in their second year, if that's how the movie wants to take it. But I uh, thank you all for watching this far, um, subscribe to see more of this content, and that's pretty much it.